placing the rim and rolling is causing uh, defense to collapse, and that's what getting CP three point shots. So uh, it's a little bit of everything. We're playing great right now as far as uh, the pace and when we get stops, and then when we struggle is when we don't get stops, and it's, it's obvious and it shows. Kirk talked about the transition being tougher to point guard coming in any other position, but it feels like you've kind of got a comfort zone now. And um, I think, I think they. Um, you know, I think what's different is they're getting me the ball a lot faster and, and, and on the break. I think I've earned these guys confidence and they know they're going to get the ball back. And, uh, obviously, it's a miss make lead. You know, CP's been playing unbelievable, uh, shooting the ball extremely well. Uh, you know, Dirk has really shut the lights out tonight. And it's been a, a great effort. You know, JJ came in and gave us a great lift. You know, Devin, you know, before he got hurt, he gave us a great lift last game. So uh, it's not going to be one guy that changes you know, you know, this locker room. It's going to be all of them. Um, like the 14, 15 guys. What's the Talk. test that the coach put you through? What test did he put you through? Um, I want to get Dirk a shot on the pin down. Play to a ball. Mm -hmm. so Raj, talk about the, the way you guys defended Westbrook tonight. You held them to 24 points and then you got them fouled out. I mean, it, was, it was a team effort. You know, three different guys took a charge on him. Uh, you know, he didn't, I don't think he's seen too many, too many gaps all night. Uh, I think we did capitalize when we turned the ball over. So I think we did a better job in the second half taking care of the ball. And we forced those guys to turn, to turn the ball over. Even though they killed us on the glass, uh, turnovers and, and being efficient on the offensive end uh, kept us in the game tonight. You look real confident stepping up with a shot when they went under the pick and roll. Talk about your, your jump and the ability to make that shot in the open. I'm just going to have to shoot it. I'm going to continue to shoot it. I'm going to have to make it. Now I come out again. Pretty <laughs> simple. <laughs> this is your first double double consistent of points and assists since your second game here. What's changed since then? Guys made shots tonight. Mm -hmm. I myself. It's pretty simple. It's a miss make lead. Uh, you know, I missed the shots I usually make, which are layups, and I made the shots I usually miss. So. <laughs> you know, you know, you know, I'm, I'm continuing to work on my shot. I'm continuing to work on my layups and floaters. So uh, it was just one of those nights where things were falling for me individually and, and us as a team. Like I said, CP, I don't think he can play anybody. He's playing extremely well right now. He's playing with confidence. You know, he's keeping low turnovers down. He's making plays for his teammates as well in the pick and rolls. There's different guys who can initiate the offense in, in that way. And with Parsons, how does it change when he's the one that's actually doing that? Uh, it puts you know a three man in the pick and roll, which they don't see too many too often in this league. You know, guys like LeBron, uh, you know, Melo's playing. But other than that, it's not too many threes that can handle the ball and make plays for a teammate. So three position. And defensively as a three, you're not used to guarding pick and roll. So I think that's the advantage we have uh, with, with CP handling the ball. Can you elaborate a little bit on this test? Is it, you know, how long is it written? Yeah, I mean, it's not written. It's just, you know, Coach and I in the room. Uh, he's yelling at me a lot. <laughs> we try, try, try not to crack under pressure. <laughs> we give him what he needs, you know, to give him the answers. So it's, you know, it's calling out plays, like I said, for example. You know, if I want to give my, uh, Monte a, a shot on the pin down, if I want to get him a single eye, it's a lot of things, uh, basketball terminology, that we're, that we're on the same page with now. And I think it's you know, the right question. You yelling back the answers? No, I, I'm very glad. Yelling won't get it. You know, yelling got me suspended. And <laughs> <laughs> got me a bad rep, so I'm going to continue to just try to kill when we do our tests. <laughs> Have you had a coach do something like that before? Yeah, Doc did the same thing. You know, that's, I think that's why Doc gave me a lot of freedom in Boston, but I played for Doc for seven, eight years. It kind of came natural, and obviously playing with uh, I think what's undervalued in this league is keeping guys together for so long. You know, we had a group of guys who played together for five years. And, you know, there's really no, need, no play need to be firm. You know, that type of chemistry. Talk about how you guys avoid like 